Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, there is a hold for some of you on Windows 11 22H2. Uh, some of you that don't see it, uh, it could be because of the Windows Hello sign-in on Windows 11 22H2. Microsoft has acknowledged today that for some users uh, that move to 22H2 and apparently depends on the type of hardware that you have when you, of course, try to sign in with your Windows Hello uh, sign in, what happens is that uh, this, of course, doesn't work, both with a PIN and also with biometrics. So even if you try facial recognition, if you try with fingerprint uh, and, of course, a PIN, it doesn't work. You can still sign into your PC, but you have to enter your password that you use. Now, uh, Microsoft already has issued a fix that they're testing for this, which means that sometime in late October when we get the C-band updates for bug fixes, it's going to be in there. Uh, what Microsoft says is if you're not on Windows 11 22H2 and it's not offered, to not force update your system. And if you are already here and you notice that you couldn't enter with your PIN or anything, just enter your password, it's going to be fixed within the next couple of weeks when the bug fixing updates arrive. But uh, it's interesting, this is another uh, little hold right now that's happening. So there are several holds that prevent users from having Windows 11 22H2 right now. So if you don't see it, you could be in one of those compatibility holds, or it simply could be that there's some hardware or software that's not compatible as Windows 11 22H2 is now pretty much available to anyone that has a system that is compatible. So uh, that means that if you have no hold, if nothing is there that uh, they know is wrong, you should see it. And if you see it, uh, it should technically be quite uh, inoffensive to move on to 22H2. Um, regarding one comment that I had from a few viewers, and they all have one thing in common, a very recent system, saying that they moved on to 11, Windows 11 22H2, um, and that they uh, actually have had some blue screens. Remember, having a very recent computer is often more problematic than having a computer that has a couple of years, as these drivers are not, and, and the software and it is not settled yet to a very stable version of it. So, um, you know, it, if, if you have a very recent system, um, don't push or don't force upgrade your Windows 11 to 22H2, especially if you're not offered 22H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.